1887, in the humble town of Kumbakonam, Tamil Nadu, India, a boy scribbled numbers on temple floors, not knowing he was rewriting history. Guided by devotion, Ramanujan often sat beneath the gaze of Namagiri Devi, goddess of wisdom, his only teacher. He dreamt in numbers, not words. In his sleep, he saw divine patterns, shapes of infinity dancing in silence. To Ramanujan, mathematics wasn't just a subject. It was a sacred calling written by the universe itself. With trembling hands and a heart full of hope, he sent a mail of his theorems to Cambridge. No degree, no titles. Just pages soaked in raw genius and divine intuition. When Professor Hardy of Cambridge University unfolded the letter, he found equations the world had never seen and he would never forget. In 1914, Ramanujan arrived in snowy Cambridge, not just a man, but a prodigy draped in the warmth of destiny. He filled blackboards with magic, formulas so deep even the West fell silent in awe. Even when illness ate his body, his mind kept writing, whispering secrets the world had never known. He didn't just discover equations, he discovered bridges between the finite and the infinite. Even today, scientists decode what he left behind. Ramanujan didn't pass away, his mind still speaks through numbers. His math reached the stars, equations dancing with the cosmos where numbers became poetry. Today his notebooks sit in museums, sacred texts of math, proof that genius speaks no language. This was the legend decode of Srinivasa Ramanujan, the man who proved true talent doesn't wait for permission, it just rises.